Dear students, during lecture 10, we will talk about diplomatic and consular, consular relations and the international law. For most of history, diplomatic law has mostly been customary. Diplomatic law is often strictly adhered to by, uh, by states because it works on the principle of reciprocity. For example, if a country ex expels diplomats from another country, then its, its diplomats would most likely be expelled from the territory of other country. The International Court of Justice specifies that rules of diplomatic immunity are essential for the maintenance of relations between states and are accepted throughout the world by nations of all uh, countries, cultures and political complexions. So, the concept of diplomatic immunity is central to understanding diplomatic and consular law. Modern law on diplomatic immunity is contained in the 1961 Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations. Almost all states have acceded to this convention. It, this convention may even apply to those countries which have not ratified this convention. The rules of diplomatic immunity are almost always observed by states. This is because it's based on the principle of reciprocity. If you, if you would like to get more in-depth overview of diplomatic and consular law, I I invite you to check the course literature and also slides that will be attached to this lecture as a learning material. Thank you.